Hi, good evening, everyone. Today with us, we have Devankita Dei, and she has secured uh, admission in both Delhi School of Economics and JNU. Welcome, Devankita. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, as I already told you by text, I truly couldn't have done it if it weren't for my manual. Okay, that's so sweet of you. I guess that is the first thing you say, and it gives us immense, uh, I don't know, so much proud we feel when when this is the first thing you guys tell, especially ma'am, it'd be even more proud, honestly speaking. I remember telling my mom before yeah. the results were out, I remember telling my mom that even if I don't get selected, it will mm -hmm. be completely on me because mm -hmm. the amount of effort Artha Point has put in, I truly did not imagine it when I initially enrolled. Great, great. That That's so sweet of her. you and generous as well mm -hmm. uh, because... Uh, because we always try to make sure that there is a difference uh, when we uh, teach our students, not only teach our students, but help them and guide them beyond just teaching, right? So so thank you so much once again. Okay, so let's come to the current scenario, the moment right now. So you have admission, you have secure admission to India's top two institutions, right? Uh, it comes to economics. So how's the feeling like? Um, honestly speaking, I didn't expect it. I mean, this, my scores were decent and I I was expecting to get into JNU in the first list itself, but D school, it took me by surprise. Amazing. So so uh, when you started your preparation, what was your, which, which of the institutions were your dream colleges or universities or institutions? So it had always been a competition between ISI and DSE, but nice. uh, when I started preparing, I realized that I felt DSC would be a better fit for me. Okay. So, yeah. So, again, so like I always tell all, not only the student, but aspirants as well, that you need to have your dream list of colleges. Okay. That is so because once you get in there, it's a different feeling altogether. True. Right. So, yeah, I, I, I mean, guess... it also helps us stay focused i believe true true you know you know your targets right you know which direction you have to go and if yeah. this is the entrance so this is the demand of my entrance exam absolutely great so i guess you also got into gokhale institute as well yes sir i started my ah. session there but then the results came out so Amazing. i had to cancel my wish that that's of course any day any day students will jump the ship from uh, Gokhale to DC for sure. Great, great. great. Okay, so the, this year we at at Gokhale, I don't know, but we have around 10, 15 students. So there are gonna be a bunch of students coming in from Artha Point in Gokhale for sure. <laughs> yeah, I met a couple of them and we usually talk about the classes and how great. I mean, so like while preparing, since it was all online, we never met each other. But I believe the school community itself in the town was just so active, supportive. So it helped everyone. So yeah. we usually talk about that a lot every time we meet. Amazing, amazing. So, so tell us something about your educational background in terms of bachelors and schooling. So I'm from Raipur, Chhattisgarh. So I did my 12th from there, from Holy Cross Kappa in Raipur itself, post which I shifted to Bangalore to pursue my bachelor's degree. It was a general bachelor's degree. I had my core subjects were economics, political science, and sociology. And I did it from Mount Carmel College. Mount Carmel. Okay, yeah. Great, great. So uh, I guess uh, in Bangalore, you usually have a triple major course when it comes yes. to. Yes. Same, same at Christ, Joseph. True. Yeah. Uh, yeah, great. Oh, amazing, amazing. So, so when when exactly did you thought of starting your preparation in your like final year, the moment you started your uh, final year or like just in between uh, the second year when I was about to get to? Um, so, when I was in my final year, I hmm. started preparing, but hmm. I realized that I was kind of burnt out with the, all the academics and everything. I gave the papers and I gave a single entrance and could not crack it. So I decided to take a, a year off. Right. 
I did a bunch of internships to add on to my resume. And at the same time, I also enrolled to your classes. So I continued the internships up until now. But first, I went to my home and then it was studying day in, day in and day out. Great, great. So, so tell us uh, something, how, how, how you like the course structure? Like the way we try to make sure is to help each and every student coming from any background, be it eco, engineering or anything. So we try to make sure that the playing field or the entrance field should be equal for each and every student. So how do you take the our course structure in terms of that direction? So the first thing, like when we start preparing we look in, into the syllabus and when i look this at the syllabus i realized that although i had similar topics in my graduation the curriculum was way more rigorous than what i was used to so when i initially joined the courses i had to start from the introductory lectures and then cover the intermediate ones and then you mm. know attend the live lectures and the conceptual clarity i got from that was so helpful i remember even before cut i would go back look at the notes just in case i have some doubts and okay, i was extremely scared of math so now i can say that after one year maybe it's not my strongest suit yet but i'm definitely not scared of it either it okay. was all due to the classes great great so it's it's very important before you sit any for any of the entrance to have confidence right so so i guess uh, it not only us who are the ones who help mm -hmm. you in getting that but it's the students who take it to the next mm -hmm. level by by practicing even more and honestly coming up with number of doubts yes. which can be different from student to student True. yeah okay. and li like you uh, said about confidence i was extremely underconfident like i would attend lectures i would finish the assignments but it it still didn't feel like I would get into a good institutions and that's when the test series came handy and like the test series progressed i could see how i was performing against other students and that gave me immense confidence because i knew where i stand against my peers right, right. even though it's a small sample set but still it gives you an idea exactly True. right 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 great so so like uh, we 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 do have the mock test paper series that we try to make sure that it is a replica of your actual exam yeah. okay and even the degree of our questions uh, that yeah. is slightly higher than the actual exam so that once you are familiar to those questions the exam questions are still easier to a certain extent so how much helpful was the mock test series of different entrance exams firstly it helped me understand the structure because all those the syllabus of for every entrance was more or less the same the papers were not alike at all so firstly it helped me understand the structure and then it gave me the confidence that if i'm able to solve these questions mm -hmm. maybe when the actual question rolls uh, the question paper rolls up hopefully it won't be as difficult as this one and i'll be able to solve it true because because uh, look ma'am personally makes each and every questions and yeah. she, she goes like four to five websites papers to come up with one question so so she makes sure ki bacche ko abhi tough lagega that's okay but they will put in effort to at least attempt it right true. yeah i remember even after the tests were done we could hmm. go back and revisit and see what was wrong what was right and i remember i i would solve them over and over again until i was so thorough with them that i remember the questions because they were of quite good standards so okay. and a lot of questions didn't just weren't just like from the books and everything okay. it made me apply what i learned so that was extremely helpful correct so so this is this is the important part the application part which gets you to institutions like isi delhi school True. because these are practical application requirement mm -hmm. right great yeah okay so now now you're set uh, for delhi school of economics you must have heard many rumors ki it's tough 
it's it's tolling it takes a lot right and uh, even if you talk to ma'am as well she will also say the same because she used to be there at the uh, ratan tata library for number of hours just to keep because it happens and also from the past we have its students who were topper in their colleges but uh, when they came to delhi school of economics everyone was grounded take care <laughs> so what 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 you must have you heard like what exactly is your understanding of this the biggest rumor that i know so far is that it's a lot of people get backlogs in their first semester especially in math so uh, but uh, yeah so they have created a group for the seniors and juniors and the amount of support the seniors have shown and yes. they made us realize that it will be difficult it won't be easy but if you put in the work okay. you'll manage so that's been that's helpful very, that's been supportive of them yeah. and motivating as well True. so 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 uh, two days back only we were there at delhi school of economics so we went to the canteen part so have you visited the campus now no so i'm not from delhi so i haven't had the chance so you would be just coming right before the session begins yeah sir. yeah okay okay great so so again the campus vibes are amazing starting with of course your uh, the tea guy the canteen mm-hmm. and of course the ratan tata library that speaks great amazing okay so uh, again some few words on on our approach to the course especially the way ma'am tries to uh, make things not only easier but interesting right so your thoughts in that and the reason i loved life classes was the examples ma'am would give yeah. they were just so relatable and they would just stick with me even if i don't remember everything from the class i would always remember the examples and then i could build up on it so yeah. and the second thing i really liked was ma'am would co- complete a topic and give us assignments right so that helped us evaluate how much we actually understood and the parts where we need to work on more great so. great okay uh, so uh... what after this in terms is it corporate career is it research phd or the civils not the civils for sure <laughs> but okay. i'm a little dubious between corporate and phd and hmm. i feel like as i go in i don't want to be stuck with one mindset i okay. want to explore my options so Oh yeah, let's see. Let let it flow. Let it flow with the yeah. with the semesters. Understand the things, and of course, once your first year is done, you will be going to an internship. So there, yeah. you will realize everything. Ki is that the stream I want to go to, or the other one? Right. Yeah. Okay. So that is also pretty. You have to be chill out at the school, so so that the <laughs> academic pressure that comes in, you are able to soak that as well, right? Okay, so uh, Devankita, one final thing for the students, the aspirants who are now coming up, and of course, with with every year, the number of institutions are increasing. Like this year, you had Kanpur and Madras coming yeah, into the play, yeah. and of course, uh, Delhi School of Economics, Delhi University coming under CUET. So, what's your suggestion or, or or feedback for the students who are coming in right now in terms of approach? and learning everything uh so one thing i would ask them to do is go through the course structure of the institutions because you know what you like you know what you want to pursue in the future and not every institution caters to it so mm-hmm. the course structure more or less helps you decide what uh, colleges or institutions are going to suit you best and yeah and once that's done i believe just prepare a list prepare top 5 and set a goal that you are not going going to go below this top 5 hopefully not even top 3 and then just start preparing and one thing okay so prepare this entire prepping process it isn't easy so one thing that really helped me was my love for this subject because there were days when i would study for long hours and wonder why am i even doing this but then i would you know kind of 
remind myself how fascinated I am by the subject and like the horizon it gives me. True, true. So this is something uh, ma'am actually talks about on daily basis that I want to see that zeal, that interest, that that interest in the subject that should come up. That you are not learning for the sake of any entrance. You're learning because you like economics. You want to see career in economics. You know, because I believe if we love something, we start questioning it. We learn a topic. We just we just don't accept what we are taught. We start questioning why this happened, when this happened, and we start our own research, and that actually helps a lot. Great, great. So amazing. And actually, my next question was like, what motivated you? what kept made sure that you kept on going on but i guess uh, what you mentioned is the love for the subject right that yeah. discourse true but again one thing i have to mention was so like the initial papers like especially iit jam mm -hmm. the results were very disheartening and i was lucky enough to have a set of people the support system who would just hear me rant so that is needed that, that is needed yeah, too. yeah they would help me come up with different strategies help me i don't know they would stay up with me at night and do their job i would do my job but there were people who helped me and made me realize that i'm not alone and even if it does not work out it's going to be fine so that was a relief so of course you you need your friends and families so, uh, at such uh, scenarios, such situations to, to make sure that you are still motivated because uh, the time when we had IITs and GATE, that was the first set of entrances. Yeah. The actual season began from April onwards when there were, there were you had entrances, you had your semester exams as well, back to back. So how did you manage? So like you left it for a gap year, right? Yes, so when you had a when you had an exam, let's say this Sunday, I guess mm -hmm. Gokhale or IGT or something of uh, yeah. that came just uh, back. Gokhale and MSc. I MSc. So how did you manage between the two? So for, okay, so because the uh, questions were little different, I had to prioritize. I okay. didn't leave out any of them, Great. but I was like, Ki, I'll prepare Gokhale first right. to the best of my abilities, and then with the time left, I'll do for MSc and and one more thing like I practiced the previous year questions beforehand but right. again with MSc it changed a bit this year so great Devankita so much thank you so much once again for taking out time TK I know all my students are busy right now with their different obligation in terms of completing admissions settling down but in that to take out that half hour and especially uh, helping the students and of course uh, appreciating our efforts as well that speaks a lot thank you so much Devan. it was my pleasure so thank you so much for having me and thank you once again for everything <laughs> that's so sweet of you thank you so much and i'll i'll pass on your message of course ma'am will also watch the session so once again thank you so much take care thank you, thank you.